finally. I finally found you. I came here just to find you, you know? Please come and lend us your strength. Keep touching the lower screen. The power is gathering. Here it comes. We are going to the Pokemon world. This path of light is the link between our two worlds. Complete the following prompts with an honest and open heart. Awaken the true Pokemon form that slumbers within you. A new student transfers into your class. What do you do? Disaster strikes. You've lost your wallet. Now what are you going to do? They start selling a new kind of pastry at your favorite bakery. You've been hiking up a mountain for two hours but still haven't reached the peak. You want to jump rope during recess. But everyone else wants to play tag. You've been given a piece of blank drawing paper. You're asked to draw a picture of the ocean. What color do you make it? Alright, vacation time at last. What kind of music fits your mood? What would be the best word to describe your partner? Who's got time to worry? You're a genius at having fun. Your cheerfulness makes everyone smile. Every day is a happy day when you're around. With your ability to produce warm, fuzzy feelings all around you, you must be Just like Sander Quill. Is this the right Pokemon for you? What do you look like? Is this the right Pokemon for you? You'd like to go with the name Seal. And the partner who will stick with you through thick and thin on this adventure. It's Chikorita. Is this the right Pokemon for your partner? What does your cherished partner look like? Is this the right Pokemon for your partner? like to go with the name Damien. Are you satisfied with these two Pokemon? Then it is time for us to go to the world where Pokemon wait. Your grand adventure is about to begin.
all life in this world is said to have been born from the same source. The sun and the stars, the skies and the seas and even Pokemon are all bound together as one. that is that the legendary Rayquaza I've heard of it before but this is my first encounter with it it's every bit as intimidating as I'd heard but I thought it inhabited the ocean layer why has it come past the stratosphere Something strange must be afoot, here, on this planet. Where am I? I feel like someone was calling me. But I'm not sure. What's going on? I can't remember. Where am I? What is this place? My head is pounding. Huh? Why can't I remember anything? Wait, do I know my name? Oh, okay, at least I remember that. I can't remember anything else though. What's going on here? I'm parched. I need to find some water. Oh, over there! I... I feel alive again. It's incredibly delicious. Never has water tasted so good. Whew! Okay, coming down now. Huh? I can see something reflecting on the surface. What? What's going on? Could it be? Is it even possible? Have I become a Pokemon? What? Wh wh why? Beam! Beam! What is that? Whoa! What's the deal all of a sudden? Somebody help! Oh! Over there! Huh? What's wrong? What are you all in a fuss for? Did, did, did the Pokemon just talk to me? What? What did they do to you? Oh, sorry. I'm Nuzleaf. It's alright now, so just calm down. Okay. I'm a Pikachu now too, so I guess I can understand Pokemon. Huh? Whoa! 
What in the world? I'm scared. Oh no. Ain't that one of the mystery dungeons up ahead? Pee. Pee. Ah, there ain't no other way to go. These mystery dungeons sure are mysterious, alright? Every time you go into one, it'll have a different layout and different items in it. And all the Pokemon around here seem mighty on edge attacking for no reason. It's altogether hard to get out of a mystery dungeon once you've gone in one. You'll be wanting to find the stairs if you've got any hope of moving ahead. Watch out for enemy Pokemon while you keep one eye open for the stairs. I'll take the lead since you seem new to this, but you stick on me like a bad stain. Dang a bit, it's an enemy Pokemon. Looks like it's asleep just now, but... If it rouses itself, it'll surely be looking to rough us up. We'll have to use our best moves to beat it. I reckon I'll take this one, so you watch close. And another one! Dang a bit! It's time you try to handle such business yourself, young friend. I'll keep an eye out. Creep right on up till you're just one step away from an enemy. Then you hold down L and select the move to use. That's the ticket! That's how you use your moves to battle off these ornery folks, but use your moves too much and you'll run out of power points sooner than later. Then you've got no choice but to attack with your handy A. But using A to attack is awful weak, so try not to run out of power points for your moves. Woohoo! There's an item lying here. Walk on top of something in a mystery dungeon and you can pick it right up. Hop right on there and try it out. That's the ticket! I reckon we should get moving along. Hop diggity! I reckon we found the stairs! Stairs like these are the ticket to making your way through mystery dungeons. Do you reckon they are still following us? I can't help but be bothered by it. Why don't you take the lead this time? I'll be keeping an eye out behind us. On you go! I'm struggling. <sighs> I reckon we should have us a little break. But them fellas that attacked us all of a sudden. 
They are a kind of Pokemon called Behem, I do believe. What are they following you for? Did you cause them some kind of trouble? Why, your childish pranks even got me caught up in your mess, I reckon. Childish pranks? Do I look like a child or something to the Pokemon in this world? Never mind that though. What I should be focusing on now is... Hmm? You reckon you don't know why they were attacking you? What now? You ain't got no memories at all? Can't remember nothing but your name. Seal, huh? And you say you ain't even a Pokemon at all, but a human? That's all you reckon you can remember? Wait, what? Uh, uh, a human? That, that flickering light there. I reckon that's the light from them be here. I reckon we ought to get to running. We've got to get away from these fellers, and fast! But rushing headlong around here will likely land us in a whole other heap of trouble. Now, the first thing you've got to know about the mystery dungeon is this. Every time you make a move, your enemy gets to do the same. Dish out an attack and the enemy Pokemon will quite likely do the same. But on the other hand, they can't do nothing if you don't do nothing. So there's no need to make a fuss. Slow down and think your moves through. That's one thing you might ought to remember. Hot diggity! Another enemy Pokemon! But no need to panic. In these situations, take a few practice swings and wait for them to come to you. If you wait till they step right up next to you, you can get in the first strike. You follow? Watch me here. See? All you gotta do is swing at nothing, and enemy Pokemon just keep on coming. Once they've come right up next to you, attack them before they try to do the same. Phew! You used to running into all these here enemy Pokemon yet? I reckon you're getting used to it by now. Why don't you go and try taking on an enemy Pokemon yourself then? Faint with A and your enemies will walk right into range for you. That's the ticket, now keep on drawing them fellas right to you. Oh, looks like things open up a bit ahead. Getting through these straight passages is easier if you dash, I reckon. To dash, hold down B and then press the circle pad. You watch how I do it first, then come dashing along after me. Like this. Now show me what you've got. Hold down B and choose the direction you want to go with the circle path. That was a fine performance. But looks like I'm standing right in your way now, don't I? If one of your teammates is standing right in your way, you can push your way past them. Go on. Try pressing the circle path and see. Alright then, I reckon you got the hang of it. Looks like we got us two ways out of, of this here room. Can't say why, but I'd bet my life on them stairs being on the upper path. Now let's take that upper path already. Huh? Sorry. Looks like we found us a dead end. May God let me wrong there, I reckon. Guess there's nothing to do, except head back. I reckon you've got it. That there is how you pass by somebody. You just hold down B and press the circle pad to pass somebody. By the by, I've got a feeling the stairs ought to be right down there. I reckon we should head down.
Looks like we may have lost the medium, but we still can't let our guard down. You just go on ahead now. I'll be watching behind us. If I get a whiff of them behind, I'll let you know. I think we done lost them behind. We lost them. I reckon. Whee! I sure am beat. But I calculate we got away from them troublemakers. Phew! Concern it! You sure did drag me into a fine mess? And me having nothing to do with any of it. But. I reckon I could forgive you this one time, us being all right and all. Adios, friend. I'll be heading home now. I reckon you ought to be careful on your own way home too. Ah, but then you don't carry it on about yourself being a human or some such. So that would make you from the human world. That sure enough is a hard pill to swallow, all right? But supposing I did believe you, then what in the world are you fixing to do now? Got no idea, huh? 
Hardly a surprise. Well, I can't pay no never mind. As to where you're fixing to sleep tonight, you might better go find your some place. Good luck to you, friend. Fare thee well. Ah. Oh, concern it all. Don't go looking at me with them baby doll eyes. Why then be here might come along and attack again at any moment. I can't hardly leave no child here all alone in such conditions. No, sir. I calculate and plump other options. You could come to my place. Yeah, I reckon we might ought to get moving. My village is just over yonder. Now, it is a fair bit of a walk, so... I reckon you might better stick real close to me and don't go getting lost. And so, Seal ended up heading to Nazleaf's village together with him. Traveling down deep valleys and up over, over rugged hills. Camping out beneath the stars when night fell upon them. Until, at long last... Oh, there it is! You can see it now! I reckon we're finally here. You see that there lake? That there little village on the shore is where I live, Serene village. We're nearly there now, I reckon we should push on. And Seal, once a human and now brought to this world as a Pokemon, with no memory of what had been left behind, came to Serene village. To the village where Seal is destined to meet a certain Pokemon who will become the partner of a lifetime in the adventures ahead. I reckon we're here. This here's my house. This way. Here you are. You can bunk down in this room for now. It may not be much, but take it as you will. And, well, as for the rest of it, what do you reckon you're gonna do? I can't help but wondering why them behem were coming after you like that. But all the wandering in the world won't give me nothing but a headache. We could get us some answers if and when your memories ever come back. But until then, you can just stay here. Sound good? I wouldn't tell the other folks in the village about them behem though. Might scare them off. And let's see. That's right, you're about school age from the looks of you. So, I reckon I should get you enrolled at the village school. People will wonder even more about you if you aren't going to school at your age. So, let's just agree that you'll go to school for the time being, alright? I reckon I'll go on and get that all took care of right away. So, don't you stick one toe outside this house till I get back, you hear? 
You hear? You're not to go outside, not even by mistake or nothing. <gasps> what was that noise? Whoa! There's something outside. Could it be those behem? I thought I'd lost them once and for all, but... I don't see anyone out here, but... I can't let my guard down. If I'm not careful, then... I knew it! Ugh. I knew my eyes weren't playing tricks on me. I totally saw you go inside with Mr. Nuzleaf just now. Where are you from? What's your name? Uh, well, my name. I'm Damien. I live right nearby with my old pops. That house right there. So, where are you from? You're not seriously Mr. Nosnip's kid or anything, are you? Like that could ever happen. <laughs> oh right, but this is your first time here, isn't it? In that case, I'll show you around the place. Come on. Hey, hey, what? What did you say your name was? Oh wait, did I ask you that already? I didn't ask you, did I? I see. So you're seal, huh? Sorry about that. I went and asked and never even gave you a chance to answer. Hmm? Am I annoying? You're totally thinking about how annoying I am right now, yeah? Well, quit it! Sheesh! Give me a break, you big milk tank. <laughs> See what I did there? A little choke? With the milk tank? Ha 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 ha! Which leads us to... Ta-da! Here she is, Serene Village. And her heart is this plaza here. It may not look like much, but we've got most of the basic facilities here. Over there you've got your deposit box. You can deposit your items and poker coins in there and take them out later again. And there's Kekleon's shop. You can buy all sorts of items there. It's probably too much to take in all at once, so... Uh, I'll tell you about each facility in turn. Let's see, to start with, we've got... There you are, Damien! Yeah, Lombr! So, this is where you've been? You're the one who tramped all through my lotus pond, aren't you? It, it wasn't like that. I was just trying to have a little adventure. Damien, stop right there. Ah, and Hippopotas. You, you are the one that went into my cave, aren't you? And what's more, you took the treasure I had hidden inside, didn't you? No. I was just exploring a dungeon, and I happened to... Uh, well, you know how it is. You gotta have a reward after clearing a dungeon, right? Stop right there, Damien! Pops? Oh, old man Caracosta. This is where you've been, loitering child. What about your chores back home, eh? Playing hooky again to wander around, eh? No, Pops. I have a real reason this time. And I know you've been snacking on the orange berries from my field again. I have not. You have. Have not. I want the truth from you, child. Yeah, I did eat them. They were delicious. Hey, I see Damien over there. Everybody. Damien's been sighted. Ah! Don't you dare run. We'll catch you. We're coming for you!
what in the world did I just witness? Okay, I ended up left behind, but since I'm here anyway, I might as well have a look around. Hmm? What's going on over there? What? Gumi did? Yeah, well he insisted on going. No more excuses, Shelmet. Tell me the truth. You and Panchamp pushed him into this, didn't you? That's not fair, Diolin. He's the one who said he wanted to go. How can you stand there and blame us? Quite easily. You're the ones who are always teasing poor Gumi after all. Some that you're going to go too far and it'll be too late for sorries then. I know that. No need to fuss so much. You're going to show me the way there. Right now. Those two kids. They must live here in this village too, huh? I wonder what's going on. They seem pretty tense about something. I can't help but wonder about those, those kids. What? He still hasn't come back out? Yeah, that's right. It's been a pretty long time too. I knew he was a total wimp. No surprise there. He should have just admitted what a wimp he is and kept his mouth shut. But he had to go and talk big, like he could handle this kind of place. He was boasting, saying, I'll show you, that's what got him into this mess. He's probably huddled up somewhere in the forest, petrified and sniffing back tears. <laughs> You're so mean, Pancham. Gumi isn't even the same age as us yet. Yeah, but he's the one who talks big. He got what was coming to him. We figure it's our job to teach him a little something about how harsh the world is. And if something happens to him in there, what are you going to do then, huh? I'm going in after him. No way, you can't go in there, Dueling. What if something happened to you? We can't let that happen to our idol. We're not letting you step foot in such a dangerous place. Are you kidding me? Then, fine, you go in after him. You want us to go? Into the foreboding forest? No way, why would we do that? I mean, it's not that we're scared for anything like that. I don't want you getting the wrong idea or whatever. You understand, right? Hmm? Who's this? Haven't seen you around before. Where'd you come from? You're not from the village. What's the matter? Skitty got your tongue? Well, no one's gonna understand you if you don't ever speak up. Well, what should I do? I did overhear what they were saying. I guess it could offer go to look for that Gumi kid. Yeah, I can't shake this feeling. I'll do it. What? You'll go in there for us? You sure about this? You do know that this place is like super scary, right? Well, if you really want to go and all, I guess we're not gonna stand in your way. But it's no skin off our backs if you get into any trouble in there. Are you sure you're up to this? Where was Kumi trying to go anyway? He shouldn't have gone that far in. There's a big old piece of paper in the forest, not that far from the entrance. A piece of paper? When Pancham and I came exploring the forest before, see... We brought it to us like a tarp, so we had something to sit on. Then we got jumped by a whole bunch of scary Pokémon. Man, that was awful! 
You should have seen Pancham's face. Remembering it still cracks me up. Ah! Back to the point. So you guys left that paper there, is that it? And you told Gumi to go find it? Yeah, we told him to find the paper and write his name on it and bring it back. If he could do that, we said we'd admit that he had some real guts. I'm so sorry about this. I think you've got the picture now. Will you really help? Be careful in there!
I feel like I've come pretty far, but... Oh! That must be him! Uh, why did I come here? I'm so scared. Is this the big piece of paper that Pancham and Shelmet were talking about? It's got writing on it. Food writing? Letters are oddly squiggly and sorta of hard to read, but somehow I think I can read them. Goon. That's what it looks like. I see. Which definitely makes this kid the Gumi they were talking about. Gumi made it all the way here and even wrote his name like they told him. That took real courage. Ah! Huh? You... You're here to help me? Oh... Oh... Ah, he was so scared! Y you actually made it back? And you brought back the paper too? You even wrote your name on it? Hmm. What's up with this writing? It's so sloppy all over the place. It's not sloppy! Too funny. I bet you were too scared and shaken to even write properly. That's hilarious! Come on, let's go show this to everyone. See ya, suckers! <laughs> hey, you two! Ugh, I've had it up to here with them. And you too, Gumi. I'm glad that you made it out okay, but what if there hadn't been anyone around to help? Sorry, dear Lin. I wanted to show them that I had real guts too. Those two would just go you into doing something crazy. You can't listen to them. Well, you did give it everything you had, that's for sure. Dear Lin, you made it that far into the forest alone and wrote your name just like they asked even though your writing is sloppy don't call it sloppy and it's really thanks to you that gumi got out of there in one piece today we really do owe you so thank you um hmm? you never did tell us your name did you What? After I done told you not to leave the house. I done told you to stay inside until I got home. Did I not? You'd best learn to mind your elders next time. But... Well... It ain't like I can't understand the itch to see the wider world out there. I reckon this must all be new to you after all. It's a fine thing to have a love of adventure in your heart. Grown-ups will always be saying you can't do this, that or the other. But there are things in life you'll never learn except by experiencing them for yourself. I reckon I'm pretty lax when it comes to adventuring and what have you. So if you get a hankering to go adventuring around the village, you go right ahead. Nasleaf! But from tomorrow morning, you'll be attending class at the local school. So you tuck in early tonight to be all ready for your first big day. 